Always curious how to make a nice portrait painting? In this video I'll take you through the whole process of portrait painting, so keep watching. Hello, I'm Petra. Welcome to my channel. I'm an international portrait painter. Well, let's get started. In this video, I divide the process in four simple steps. First is putting the drawing on the canvas. Second stage is building the face with lots of paint. The third is putting in the details. And the fourth is just finishing the painting. First is the drawing stage. The idea is, if you do the drawing right, you don't have to deal with it again. This makes the process a bit easier, especially if you are a beginner. Take your time for a measurement. There are parallel lines in the face, and you see me checking them throughout the entire process. The eyes are at the same level, and they have the same angle to the nose and mouth. You can certainly use a roller or a compass if you work from a photograph. Mostly we draw in pencil or charcoal, but here I just use some thin paint. I do the first layer in oil, but you can also use acrylics, which dries much faster. Best is to let the underpainting dry, that way you can see the underpainting through your work. If you are more advanced, you can go on and try to do an alla prima. The underpainting is just a simple drawing in one color. Don't make it too perfect, you're going to paint it over anyways. The second stage is blocking the colors. This stage is to explore and to build the face, like a sculptor sculpt the face in clay. I start with the darks, the shadows. Don't use too much black and blues in the shadows, it makes the painting a bit harsh. Better to use an ombre with some greens and reds. Of course you can use some blue and purple in the shadow, just not too much. Shadows are a very important topic in portrait painting. It's nice to make the shadows a bit warm instead of cool, especially with painting children. After painting the darks, I do the mid-tones and then the lights. Everybody is unique and so are the flesh tones. There is not such a thing as one flesh tone, and certainly not out of one too. No one has just one colour, one skin colour. The colour of the forehead, the cheeks, the chin, they all have a slightly different colour. Putting different colours in the face also make it a bit more vibrant. The third stage is putting in the details. In the first two stages, likeness is not an issue. In the first stage, it was all about placement and measurement. In the second stage, it's all about finding the simple shapes. But in this stage, it's all about likeness. I pay close attention to the details. The features make the likeness of the person. I paint the nose and the mouth very carefully. But for me, the eyes are important. I love painting the eyes. The soul is in the eyes. What do you want the eyes to say? Do you want this girl to be sweet or innocent, dreamy or a little bold? I try to exaggerate it a bit. After all, it's not a photo. Try not to make harsh lines in the eyes. Try to soften the lines as much as you can. 
but do try to put the most detail and the lightest light and the darkest dark in the eyes because the eyes are the focusing point there you want the attention to be Try not to blend too much. It's okay to see some of the brush strokes. I always get a lot of questions about color mixing. You can mix your color on your palette, but don't mix too much colors all at once. I'd rather mix a bit on my canvas and leave some fresh colors behind. It's nice to see all different colors around the eyes. For this girl I used some orange and blue. These are contrasting colors and give a more lively look. But remember, it's your energy bringing on the canvas. The fourth is just making fun. Have a little party on the canvas, be a little bold, throw with the paint. The likeness is not often in the hair and the clothes in the background, except of course if the clients ask you to be very precise. The reason of painting the hair in the background in a looser style is it brings more attention to the eyes and that is what you want to achieve. Gives more attention if you vary in detail, colour, brush strokes and so on. I hope you liked the video. Please let me know in the comments what you would like to see in the future. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook, so don't hesitate to send me a DM if you have any questions or comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you want to subscribe, please press the red subscribe button under this video. I hope to see you in my next video.